Hey, today we are uh, doing the first of two days where we wrap up the entire New Testament uh, with the book of Ephesians. We're reading Ephesians 1 through 3 today and 4 through 6 tomorrow. Um, we started the year, if you remember, back in January uh, reading the letter to the Ephesians and uh, we're going to end it doing the same thing. The beginning of January, we had no idea that 2020 would be the year that it was, right? Coronavirus was just this thing that we heard about over in Asia and we had nothing to worry about. Um, turns out this year went quite differently than we thought it would, than we hoped it would, than we expected it would. For a lot of us, uh, for me personally, maybe even for you listening or watching at home right now, this has been a year uh, where you're tired. By the end of the year, maybe you got a little bump for Christmas, right? But but you're weary, you might be losing strength. Uh, I think what Ephesians has to say to us today uh, speaks directly to that. Um, Paul was writing to this community of people, many of whom must have been tired, or at least many of whom must have lost connection with the power that is available to those of us who believe in Jesus, the power that's available to each and every one of us. It was easy this year to lose connection with the power that was available to us because things were hard and things were weird and things were ugly and our routine were off and um, things were sad and you know we were kind of isolated and lonely and we were going crazy and um, some really horrible things happened. And uh, But there is a power at work within us that is unbelievable. Uh, there is a power that's accessible to us and that's available to us. If we would just reach forward for it, uh, if we would just ask for it, if we would just pray for it, if we would um, learn to live our lives in it. And so really what I want to do today with these few minutes we have together is just read uh, the two powerful, powerful prayers from Ephesians 1 and Ephesians 3 that capture Paul's prayer for the Ephesians that they would have access to this power, but I think it also captures the prayers that we ought to be um, providing for one another uh, who, are fearing, who are feeling weary or weak at the end of this year. So listen to this from the end of the first chapter of Ephesians. This is Paul talking to them and then, and then basically um, capturing his prayer for them. He said, I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. And we're going to pray this together. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints? And what is the immeasurable power, the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power? Listen, God put this work, this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet, and he has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Amen. Listen, with the eyes of your heart enlightened, I want you to know what is the hope to which he has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power that is, his, that is at work in us as we believe. And then I, I just want to read also um, from chapter 3, starting with verse 14, this awesome prayer too. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and earth takes his name. And then Paul says, and I'm going to pray this for you, I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his spirit and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray, I pray for you that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge 
so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we could ask or imagine, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. There is an immeasurable power out there for us to believe. We can be strengthened in our inner being by his power through his spirit for us who believe. We can comprehend the love of God in a way that transforms things, strengthens us, and gives us power. And it is um, important in verse 20, it is his power at work within us that accomplishes. And so as we head into this new year, wrap up the New Testament together. I want to pray for you um, that his power will be at work in, among, and through you.